you almost can't believe someone does this for a living until you see the pictures and you see the video. Paul Nicklin's a National Geographic photographer who's traveled the world, particularly North and South Poles, capturing some astounding images of threatened species. And he's speaking tonight at the Perot Museum, joins us this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having we, me. We walked in, you walked in here and we said, oh, wow, seeing these pictures looks like you've got a dream job. And you said, well, it takes a lot to get those pictures. It's a dream job, but it's also probably the hardest job out there, you know, because it's with wildlife and nature, it's very uncertain. So you might, you know, for example, I told you about narwhals. Right. It took me 10 years of trying every year to get one good hour of shooting with these animals. So okay, look at this video. So these are the narwhals, Those right? Are the unicorns so of the sea. it took you how long to get these photos? 10 years of going back every year to have this one intimate encounter. BBC is, BBC is still trying to chase down this this moment. So it's uh, really you have to put in the time. And when you capture this moment, I mean, what's I mean, is your heart's pounding. I, I can, can't imagine the adrenaline. Just relief, uh, happiness, sort of it's a surreal moment that you've been pushing for something for so long and now it's finally happening and you just calm yourself by shooting thousands of pictures. Yeah, there's a, a rare black bear, but apparently it's not black at all. Let's take a look at that one that you have. This is the spirit bear. That's the Kermode bear or the spirit bear. It's actually a black bear that's pure white, lives in the Great Bear Rainforest of British Columbia. It's more rare than the panda bear. And that was another one. It took me two years of going back, you know, for months at a time and to finally have two good days of shooting with this bear. So I don't know why I pick such elusive species. Do you do. just have to sit really, really still? from dark to dark every day. And people talk about the rain that's coming in. And this is a rainforest, it's pouring rain all the time. Wow, yeah. oh my goodness. So, so you go through some tough, some tough moments to capture these, the, these images. Uh, the, you, 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 the cold here, I mean, I can't even, I'm, I'm like stumbling, just talking, <laughs> looking at how cold you are. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty extreme. It's extreme. I mean, but minus 30, minus 40, that doesn't bother me. You can always put more clothes on. With, I'm more terrified <laughs> of the heat where you, you can only take so much off before you how, get arrested. So. How did you get in this business? I actually grew up in Baffin Island with the Inuit up by Greenland. I've been there since all my life. You know, so well, we moved there when I was four years old. And mm -hmm. so it's second nature for me. It's where I'm, where I'm home and where I'm comfortable. And do you shoot year around? I mean, what's your schedule like? I'm on the road 11 months a year, 10, 11 months of the year, but then, you know, shooting all around the world for several months a year for sure. You do a lot in the North and South Pole. Why, why there? I think it's because where I'm comfortable. You know, if I'm sort of standing shoulder to shoulder with a bunch of other photographers in, say, the Bahamas, then I know I'm in the wrong spot. If I'm alone up in the Arctic where climate change is happening, we're seeing changing ice conditions, and then I, then I know I'm actually being effective as a journalist, as a storyteller, as a photographer. And what's the photo you want right now? Oh, there's millions. I mean, right now we just did an incredible shoot with the Kanak hunters of Northwest Greenland. So these hunters that live out on the ice, where we're just walking on two, inch, two, two inches of ice, where it's sinking below your feet, and they're telling us about their ecosystem. Uh, we were just diving with killer whales in Norway. So it, we're always... You're we're a all, brave man. We're, all, we're always doing it. You know, we're, we're always chasing it down. Okay, so you're going to be talking tonight at the Perot Museum. Yes. They're doing this new National Geographic Live program. You'll be speaking at 7 o'clock, and he's got a book signing of your book, uh, Polar Obsessions, yes. afterwards. Yes. Yes. So uh, you can you can meet him and check that out. You can find a link to the Perot and tickets at fox4news.com. Thank you so much and thanks for sharing these images. Amazing. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Coming up here on Good.